So does size really matter? We're gonna talk about throwing balls in this video. Check it out. Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Arite Throws Nation. In today's video from Arite Streaming HQ, we are going to talk about throwing balls. Now we do a lot of things with wall throws. Again, when you have training restrictions or you know bad weather, or different things, and maybe you don't have a, like a really great setup with an indoor net, or you just live someplace and you don't have access to the field, you need a wall. And you've seen us put up some videos on wall throws, and we get a ton of questions and DMs on what balls do we use. Now, one of the key things that I always answer about and I talk about is the size of the ball makes a huge difference. So I have three balls today and you're going to notice that we have this. This is a one kilo. This is a one kilo and this is a one kilo. So you're going to notice they kind of th make three different sounds as well. So here's what this one kilo I like. This particular ball had a certain type of fill to it and I could kind of shape it, right? And I could kind of put it in like this so I can get a little bit of a discus feel to it and I can kind of throw it and I hold it more like this. This is really important. So you're gonna notice though that these bigger balls, even if I have an athlete with smaller hands, they're gonna be able to grab it here. It makes them kind of hold longer and they kind of have to pull and stay more relaxed through the arm through delivery. I think this is an important aspect when you're training. We like wall throws because we stop trying to throw typically hard, trying to throw far, and we start working on our positions. If you do it all the time and you don't get your hand on a discus, you're gonna have an issue with the release. You're gonna be a little clunky when you first get back to it. Now, the point I'm making is the size, how I grip the ball, because what you're gonna notice is, here's another one, a little squishier, and again, it, I can hold on to it enough where it's gonna kinda make me grab it kind of more here, but when I start to get with these smaller balls, I can tighten up and I can pull harder. And so that's a small detail, but you kind of will, the athletes will tend to grip and they're going to grab this and they're going to really try to rip it. And what you want to do is you want to have this bigger ball so that you can be in here and it's going to force you to kind of keep your arm kind of, you're going to have to grip the ball, but you're going to have to stay, you, it forces you to stay more relaxed. You can squeeze the smaller ball, wrap it around, and I tend to see athletes start ripping it. So you're going to notice in all of our videos, we're using these bigger diameter balls. Those are the ones to use because so many of you have asked that question and that's what this video is all about. And remember nowadays with everything going on, it's so important to find creative ways to get in tons of good quality reps and wall throws are a great way to get that done. So thanks so much. If you like this video, be sure to give us a, ugh. <laughs> be sure to give us a thumbs up, comment below, and we will see you on the next video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. As you can see, there's a lot that goes into what we do with the Throwing Chain Reaction System. If you would like to learn more about how to structure your practices and find the things that help unlock your potential, click the link below and we will see you on the next video.